I think it's definitely possible to be a libertarian and a Mormon. I'm Dustin Peterson. I'm on the board of uh, Latter-day Saints for Ron Paul. Uh, I go to school at BYU-Idaho. In the uh, history of the Latter-day Saints, uh, there's always been a strong constitutionalist movement. The founder of the uh, LDS Church, Joseph Smith, believed that the uh, Constitution was an inspired document. And uh, every leader since then has uh, held relatively the same view. When Ron Paul goes up into debates and talks about the Constitution, I think that's the one thing that connects me to Ron Paul the most and other Latter-day Saints. Another thing is war. Uh, there's a strong tradition of being anti-war within the church. One of our prophets, Ezra Taft Benson, was a big proponent of staying out of um, entangling alliances, staying out of the United Nations, staying out of NATO. If we actually look at our history, many leaders of our church were not exactly all in favor of these wars. So that's another position that I like to connect. I think most Mormons will end up voting for Mitt Romney just because he is Mormon but I know that about half the students that are politically active at BYU-Idaho are Ron Paul supporters and the other half are Mitt Romney. So I think there's a really a battle right now going on in the campuses of the future of the Republican Party between, even within the Mormon schools, there's Ron Paul supporters that are, you know, quite uh, motivated to support Ron Paul. I think it's definitely possible to be a libertarian and a Mormon. Within our faith, there's a concept called agency, and that's close to liberty. And so I think in our, in our faith, we're taught to make choices and, and decide based on our agency you know, whether to drink, whether to smoke. And we're told not to, but we still have that agency. So I think that's something else we can apply in government as well. In the history of the Mormon church, the government didn't protect the Mormons, the religious faith really, the religious rights. I think there's a lot of distrust among Mormons with government and their ability to protect us. The church, it, it encourages people to vote. You know, at the pulpit on Sunday, it's, you're, you're told to go out and vote and support the candidate of your choice. Um, so I think that's why there's such a strong voting block is because we're encouraged to vote in church. I think we're going to do strong in Idaho. It's one of those states that has a strong Mormon voting population. Uh, and I think those Mormons are going to turn out for Ron Paul.